Hey guys, welcome to Gaslands TV. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. I'm sorry about that. But uh, today we're going to be doing some stuff with some household items. So I've um, got some pumps here from uh, soap dispensers, which I'm probably just going to use the, uh, the little plastic uh, tubes here to do something. We're going to need some straws. Uh, bendable straws are preferable. Uh, some Q-tips and some um, egg cartons and uh, plastic or cardboard or both if you have they're both really useful and uh, some mesh from some uh, fruits or lemons or uh, tangerines and stuff that you buy at the uh, supermarket so some of these fruits are wrapped up in these things so let's go ahead and uh, cut a bit of that mesh and pass a straw here bended straw to do uh, one side of the fence so we're going to be doing a few like barriers and stuff like that that we could use on on the terrain for uh, gas lands or or any miniature game now i find to put two straws together it's really good to cut at a at an angle one of the straws and it's easy to just slip it into the other one like this to make like a continuous pipe of some kind um so we'll just put the mesh like that. It's probably better to make it even shorter or lower if you want. Oh, iced coffee. Don't forget to hydrate, even though that's probably not a good way to hydrate. Some water would probably be better. But, uh, you know, my wife brought me some cold coffee. I'm not going to say no. So uh, let's go back to the egg carton here. Just cut the bottom part of it and uh, already that alone is a pretty cool uh, little piece of terrain there kind of looks like a, some kind of cinder block or something so uh, we're going to use that as the uh, as the feet so with the hobby knife i'm just gonna make a little hole here inside the egg carton bottom and uh, try to fit the straw in there that's not bad Gives it a nice little base. It's super easy, super quick. Little terrain here. So I'm going to just do the other side. And uh, I mean, you don't even need to glue this. It fits in pretty well. But just to make sure, a bit of glue. Just to make sure that it uh, stays in place. And now I'm going to start on a second barrier. I'm going to do maybe like three different barriers. So for this, I'm going to use two popsicle sticks glue those together like so and I'm gonna break another two of them to just get a little piece of wood to put underneath so that it's gonna keep them stable together it's gonna be like the, the feet of this uh, barrier here that we're gonna do again this is all like household item stuff that you could probably find so Hopefully you do have some of this stuff lying around and this inspires you to do something. I'm just going to put a little dot of glue here and use these pieces of wood here to make the base. And that's also going to keep the other two together so it kind of reinforces the, uh, the bottom part of this barrier that we're going to make. And now for, uh, for this one I'm going to use the, this mesh here. And make sure it's the same width as the uh, base. I'm just going to cut here. I've, I've always been looking at these meshes and I'm like, I'm sure there's something we could do with this. And uh, so that's why I decided to try it out and see how we could use this mesh for some barriers or fence or something like that. So I'm going to try to put this here somewhere. If you have q-tips we're going to use that as the uh, two different poles if you don't you could still use the straws but uh, the q-tips are going to be cool and i'll show you why in a minute so i'm going to make sure that they're both the same length here I'm doing it by eye and uh, i'm going to use that to go through the fence here through the mesh this is just because i don't want to use the glue but if you want you could wrap it around and use glue but I mean this holds it holds it pretty well 
and now we're gonna have to find a way to glue that i'm gonna use the uh, gorilla white glue i like this glue a lot because it like it expands and it bubbles up a bit and it really uh, keeps things together and it also looks like a, like a welding kind of thing once it dries now it's uh, see like that white glue there it's really hard to uh, glue those q-tips so what i'm going to do is cut a straw here and make little holes and uh, what's cool is that this straw even adds a little pipe at the bottom of this barrier so that's pretty cool sometimes just adding a little thing might add more than you expect let's just make a few holes in here a little bit bigger so that the q-tip fits in and that's going to make it much easier to glue this to the uh, base the wooden base here because of the straw that's there the pipe and uh, that's one of the barriers done now we're gonna use the uh, top of the egg protector here from a uh, egg carton plastic egg carton and uh, show you how to use these um, covers here these little rings here uh, try to get the ones that are like like this one not not the other one the other ones are not like popable i'll i'll explain as i'm doing this uh, it's hard to explain the popable aspect of these things so um i'm gonna use the uh, just the tube of these things if you don't have that you could use a straw or again a q-tip or any pipe looking thing just gonna clean this one up here just a little bit so that it's straight instead of on an angle i'm gonna make a little hole in the top of this plastic thing right in the middle of it and fit in the uh, the tube now as you can see it's gonna come off from the side so then when you put it down it's not gonna be straight it's not gonna be flat or anything like that so this is what i mean by uh, you want them to be uh, poppable so these you could actually push out so that they are going to be easier to put in the stick and it won't touch the floor um, just clean out some of the plastic here as well so that it doesn't um, hit the floor and make it uneven so i'm going to put this back in here and see it's not it's not even right it's not going to stay straight so you're going to have to pop them I'm going to make another hole in this one. And here you could pop them upwards. So see like this one here, I'm going to just pop it upwards. And it's going to give you the space underneath it. So that when you put the tube, it's not hitting the floor and it's going to be, be like a like a nice little fence holder. I'm going to put some glue there just to make sure it stays because these ones are going to be like a movable kind of thing that I'm going to make. So you can make like right angles with it or straights or whatever. So I'm going to just cut this to make sure that it's straight all the way. I'm going to do the same thing I did with the other fence and pass the, uh, the pipe through some of this mesh here on either end. And you're going to have a movable fence. So you can make a curve with it. You can make a straight. And um, you could go as long as you want with this one. I mean, if if you have enough material, you could do uh, five, five posts and make a really long fence that's uh, customizable and could move and snake around the track however you want. So I'm just going to put a, a third one here in the middle. I'm going to clean up this, make a hole. With a little plastic and i'll put this in the middle of the fence make it a bit more stable so see, as you can see you can make like an s or a straight or you could move it however you want and 
make a little zigzag. And if you want, you could keep this orange, make it look like a construction fence. Or I'm gonna just use this chrome here and I'm gonna spray everything that I made in chrome. So everything's gonna be metallic for now. It's gonna be a nice uh, base for these fences and stuff like that, that that you're making, especially if it's made out of metal. And it's cool on the, I'm gonna use the uh, popsicle sticks just to make a cross here, just to uh, decorate this fence. It's a little bland. You could put whatever you want there. Um, but the silver actually on the egg carton, the not the plastic one, the cardboard egg carton, really looks like cement. So if you're looking to make something in cement, you could use uh, chrome on cardboard and it looked pretty good. And for this, I'm going to just try to point it up a little bit because I'm going to turn them into little flames. That's why we use the Q-tips here so that we could use the cotton part of it as uh, flames maybe sticking out of these holes here and to do fire it's really easy I'm just gonna use some yellow first on the cotton here and you could stretch out the cotton even more if you want um, then after the yellow I'm gonna put some some orange so you want to fade from like yellow to orange to red I'm going to put some red at the tip here. There's probably uh, better ways to make fire, but this is easy and quick. And if you want, you could use your fingers to, even if it's still wet, just use your fingers to like uh, fade the colors in together. Just like fire and then like twist it a little bit. Again, you could even open up the cotton a little bit more. And then I'm going to use a bit of black just to make it look like it's burning and some of the smoke's coming out. This is super light black. It's like just dry brushing a little bit. Probably put even too much at this point. So try to put just a little bit of black. And I'm going to fix those later on once they're dry. So I'm going to Actually, now that the black is out, let's dirty up the fence. So just put a bit of black on your brush and dirty a few spots on the fence. Just so it's not super clean and look like a the factory new fence that just came and got installed somewhere. It's supposed to be wasteland, so let's take some black and dirty it up. You don't have to put it everywhere, you could go left and right, up and down, just put a bit of black and... You know, maybe there's some explosions that happen on the side of these fences. And makes uh, all this soot go on it. Make sure to dirty up the pipes too. And for this one, I'm even going to dirty up the base here. The bottom part of it, just with a dry brush that has a bit of black on it, left over and just tap on it just dirty it up and uh, for here we're gonna put some bumper marks you know those marks you see in parking lots and stuff indoor parking lots all over the walls because people can't drive so uh, I'm gonna put some of these here as well as wastelanders can't drive either always popping hazards and stuff I'm gonna dirty a bit this fence here and um, dirtying it up is not enough. I'm going to have to use some orange to make some rust. You really don't need much, just a little drop. And with rust, you want to go up and down only because it's mostly water, right? That makes things rust. So when it rains, it pulls at the top and then drips down. So try not to go left and right. Just a bit more realistic to go up and down when putting rust on stuff. That looks not bad. So this is pretty easy. A bit of orange and black and it's gonna dirty it up. You could put more time into it if you want. Oh, got some uh, sparkling water with some blueberry gin. 
again not hydrating but still very refreshing in summer and after you drink a little bit go back to resting and this pipe here too let's just put some dry dry brush some orange here if you put too much you could use your finger to remove some and just again go up and down instead of left and right and uh, here the straw was a bit weird so i put some more orange there make it look like the pipes really really rusted i don't know what happened there and i'm gonna make that dry and i'm gonna put some orange on this one all around the pipe here just randomly put it as you go doesn't have to be perfect and now it's time to do the bottom here in wood i like to use this mahogany from vallejo um, air airbrush because it's watery made for airbrush but i'm going to use it to paint and because it's watery it's it, it leaves a nice uh, like grain look on the wood because it's wet and your brush strokes make it look like that's the uh, wood so i'll show you in a minute so see it's very watery paint but your brush makes it look like Look at that, it looks like perfect mahogany. Because your your brush hairs are actually putting the wooden uh, grain onto the wood. So that's uh, pretty cool. So if you're ever looking for an easy wood, that's, uh, that's the paint to go with. And uh, make sure everything is completely covered here just to keep it a little bit more realistic if there's a bit of silver showing it's gonna look weird and off so uh, that's all right I'm just gonna let that dry maybe put a second coat later and I'm gonna do the cross here also in mahogany again you want to use your brush to do the grains on the wood at the same time and uh, that looks pretty good too and if you want you could use uh, you could paint the cross a different color and write something on it or whatever uh, but now for the top of these pipes here let's say fire was coming out of these also but they're just not on i'm going to use metallic purple and metallic blue to uh ionize ionize the tip here so i'm going to just put a layer of purple this is good to do at the edge of guns as well or exhaust pipes or whatever and then use the blue uh, metallic just to do a little sliver of blue at the tip of the pipe and that's going to make it look like you know fire was coming out of there and it just burned the tip of these pipes and i'm going to just do the same thing here at the bottom of the fire so that's going to look like the metal pipe is being burned there from the fire that's sticking out there Again, this is quick and easy, unprofessional work that anybody could do. And, uh, oh yeah, so I bought these things, uh, five bucks for a pack of like natural moss. Uh, you could find these at like uh, arts and crafts shops. In Canada, it's Michael's. I don't know what it is in the States or anywhere else in the world, but I bought these at Michael's. And uh, these are used for plants. So like if you have fake plants, Instead of putting dirt um, in the pot, you put this. And I find that it's amazing as terrain as well. And it's also very cheap. So there's a good tip. And uh, if you like these tips, make sure to subscribe. Like the video. It really helps me out. And hopefully these videos help you out. So I'm just going to take a little bit of these. I'm not going to use much of this, but it's just to decorate basically the bottom of these uh, barriers that we did. So I'm going to use Amazon Basic School Glue. Uh, these are really cheap. I think I got like three bottles for like five bucks or something. That's really, really cheap. And uh, it's useful. 
if you're modeling. So I'm going to just put a bunch here. And you could be uh, aggressive with this. You could put a lot because it dries up a lot and it evaporates a lot. So uh, you could be actually pretty generous with this glue. So I'm going to just put a bit here um, to make it actually a bit more than you should, just to make it fill as much as you can here, wherever you uh, you plan to put the the moss to decorate. I want to pull out a bit of the excessive Ireland green off this and uh, just put the burnt one since it's a wasteland it's probably more uh, burnt and dead leaves and dead branches and stuff so and you just you can put one standing up maybe like that see if it stays and uh, maybe yeah you could put a bit of the bright green one why not that looks pretty cool and a do the same thing here on the second one. And you could put a lot or a bit. It's up to you. And I'm going to try to put some standing up here on this one. See if they they stay. Uh, this part's going to get really messy. Your fingers are going to get all sticky and stuff. And It's fun though. It really changes completely the look of your terrain. And uh, so once you have that done, you could even put more glue. Again, be generous with this. Make sure it's, you know, keeps your stuff there. And uh, it evaporates and you don't see it anymore. And it, it actually keeps things together. So have fun with this glue and just put a bunch. And even once you put more of the glue, you could even grab whatever you can off the uh, table here with your fingers and just sprinkle it on top. That's going to even cover up the excess glue that you might have there and make it a bit more dirty and more realistic. So you're going to do the same here with uh, this one. Just put some glue. Again, this was all household stuff, super easy, quick terrain that you could do in like an afternoon um, I'm gonna use this plant potter potting thing here I don't know what it's called fake fake potting fake plant potter I don't know Harry Potter I'll put some glue might have put a bit too much on that one uh, but again I really want this stuff to stay there and not move so I'm just gonna put glue and make a mess and just Grab whatever's on the table here, whatever's excess, just throw it on there. Wherever you see glue, just throw it on. And maybe add a few Ireland green grass here. So it's not completely dead. You know, there's some hope of vegetation on this planet. Mars is a lie anyways. And there you have it. I'm going to put a bit of glue actually on this one. Just a little bit of grass here is going to make a huge difference. That's like two little sprigs. And it's going to give it a little bit of a realistic looking thing here. Just a little bit. Maybe uh, put a drop of glue on it so it stays. And put a little sprig here on the other side. That looks pretty good. And there you have it, quick, easy terrain with household stuff, different barriers you can make. You can make a bunch of these super quickly and easily. Uh, you can make a long one of, th of this and make it super movable, like, you know, a right angle or an S or a chicane or chicane, depending how you say it. And. Uh, yeah, I'd love to see these. Go on our Facebook group and show me if you did any of those. If you do play Gaslands and you're looking for uh, anything like dice or gates or templates or even uh, 3D printed stuff like engines, pipes, guns, especially rams, uh, you could order them on our Etsy page. They come in a cool Gaslands container, shipping container full of stuff. 
and uh, it supports the channel. You even have like flamethrowers. Uh, you help also the uh, the 3D artist who did these, and uh, you can go to our Facebook page, Gaslands TV, to share your thoughts and pictures on stuff that you've done. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please like and subscribe so that you don't miss anything else coming soon. I'll see you guys next time.